Hello YouTube, it's the Spaceman landing in your area once again on a Friday night. Well, tonight I was in Brandon and I was at the uh, Westfield Mall. And after I uh, went into the mall and walked around, I picked up a few calendars in there for 50% off. And when I left the mall, I decided I was going to go down to one of my regular go-to uh, cigar shops. Uh, that would be the Boardroom Cigars. And that is right on the Brandon Boulevard there, Route 60. Uh, a couple miles up from the mall. And uh, found out that they were closed. They're out of business. So I stopped over at another shop, in a vape shop, and I asked uh, the young lady, I said, uh, where is there a good place uh, around here to buy cigars? And so she mentioned to me um, the a shop that was up the street, and that shop, another fellow that was sitting at the vape bar, said that shop also had closed down. So then... She mentioned um, Total Wine. Now, Total Wine is a huge wine store. I mean, this this store it, it, it looks like it's half the size of Walmart. It is just huge, and they have a big walk-in humidor. So I just basically I had a little bit of extra money this month. It's my birthday. And I had a little bit extra money that came in. I'm not going to say from where. Uh, it was gifted to me. And uh, so I kind of like, you know, <laughs> went on a little binge in that humidor. Like a kid in a candy store. Or a spaceman. At the Kennedy Space Center. Watching the rockets launch. And getting to ride in his own rocket. Okay. Enough of that. Uh, we all know I have a fantasy of having a spaceship or a rocket ship. And I don't. <laughs> Silly, huh? Anyway. Um, I got some. I picked up some really nice cigars. And by the way, I'm smoking one of them right now. And it is the Oliva Milanio Series V. So, the, you know, this is a um, six and a half by 52 box press figurato. It's tapered on both ends. As you can see with this one, this unsmoked and uncut one. And... Uh, very good. Uh, like I said, it's a blast. And uh, I will be doing a full review on this cigar in a future video. So you might want to look out for that. And this cigar is like totally out of this world. I mean, this is just... Uh, it's just got a... a it's, it's a big hitter. I mean, this one is like just creamy, woody... Uh, spicy, smooth, um, just a little bit of sweetness, peppery, spicy, whatever. It's just awesome. So, the store I just mentioned, Total Wine, is on, um, it's actually at 11 to 11 Causeway Boulevard in Brandon. If you'd ever like to uh, pay a visit. It's on the other side of the mall, so it's like if you're going up Brandon Boulevard and you're going through the front of the mall where it says Westfield, uh, it's going to be like uh, way directly on the other side of the mall, which is Causeway Boulevard. And you go down through around the mall, you do a 180 uh, loop around the mall, half loop, and you go out that street there, that little exit, and it'll bring you out to a Longhorn Steakhouse and a Walmart, and it's right across the street in that plaza so so what a great place i bought a bottle of wine for my birthday 
that's coming up on January 9th. So I bought a nice bottle of wine. I bought a big six bourbon barrel red blend, which is supposed to have some vanilla in it. It's aged for three years. And I'll be pulling that on my birthday. That'll be a really nice thing. I'll pull that out and maybe smoke a pipe with that or something. Maybe a cherry blend. So, let me show you the cigars that I got. Also, drinking a Starbucks mocha frappuccino. Okay, so anyway. As you can see, if you look over here to the right... I kind of uh, indulged in the uh, Rocky Patel world a little bit here. I picked up one of my favorites, the Rocky Patel Vintage 1990. And this one's in a glass tube with a cork stopper sealed. Um, and I picked up uh, a few of Rocky Patel The Edge dark wrapper and two light wrapper ones chocolate color coffee color whatever and also three other rocky patels over here uh, picked up two of the uh, vintage 1999 connecticut oops and i picked up uh, rocky patel decade 10th anniversary dark wrapper if you're wondering why I have three lighters over here uh, three cigar lighters uh, I keep these filled and I bring them out because I never know when one of them is going to run out of flow of, uh, gas so then I always have a backup you know or I can use my uh, fake uh, SD DuPont right but these seem to get the job done a lot better the torch lighters the cigar seems to stay lit I don't know, and I, once I torch it with this, it's just, you know, it just fires it up, and it just, I can let it sit for a while, and it'll just smoke good. The draw on this is very good, but when I first cut it, it was a little tight, uh, so I kind of, I cut it again, and I just cut it with my Emerson Kershaw knife. I've got to get myself another cigar cutter, because my last one was a cheap $10 one, and it kind of just wore out on me. Now that I smoke more cigars than I used to. So I've got to get a good cigar cutter going. And I'm going to try for a Zycar, I think. So. Hmm. The cigar is very good. Very, very, very good. This thing's probably going to go on for an hour and a half, maybe longer. Anyway. I'll show you what else I picked up by Rocky Patel. I picked up this box. Now you get, uh, this is a uh, four pack. Buy one, get one free. And um, this pack was, I believe, $20, $20, dollars So you're getting four cigars here. So you're getting uh, $5, five and a quarter piece and let's move over here to of course I'm this is the cigar I'm smoking right now the Oliva Milanio awesome this one's in the um, little Ziploc long bag here uh, the, they were not in a bag when I got them out of the humidor they were just bare and they were sitting in the box and believe me that the, Oh, they are delicious. You've got to try them. You're, you're, you're going to pay anywhere from 10 to $14, $15 a stick with these. I'm just letting you know. Okay, these are not cigars that I buy on a regular basis unless it's a special occasion. My birthday's coming up. I do not normally spend that much on cigars, but here it is. So once in a while, you know, hey, you only live once, right? You only go around once. So look, I got this one, Timeless Supreme exclusively for Nat Sherman International. Nat Sherman, as you know, is a tobacco blender or company. They make uh, those small boxes of cigarettes. Come with a little lift uh, lid that lifts up and fanciness little brown cigarettes. And my friend used to smoke them. 
And then over here I bought this pack of Perdomo Special Craft Series, handcrafted for beer enthusiasts. This is a four pack of Maduro. Now these um, cigars, you, you get this four pack and it's $27.99. And normally, you know, this is actually for beer pairings, okay? But I'm gonna be pairing it with uh, coffee. Because I have a coffee mug that's a Perdomo coffee mug. And it has the a little cigar rest right on the handle. And I'm just, I've never actually smoked a Perdomo. I've had that Perdomo cup. You've probably seen it in videos. This time I said, oh, I wanna get these. Because uh, what better cigar to have sitting on a Perdomo mug than a Perdomo cigar? It has on the top, it says Tabacalero Perdomo, just like it says right here. Tabacalero Perdomo. Um, without telling you all the uh, details about each cigar, I mean, you know, they, like I said, it was below the cigar, just like it was when I was in Ebor. Right? I, mean, I could have taken a picture, but I'll just wait and do separate reviews on some of these cigars, and I'll show them in videos. I don't review every cigar I smoke, uh, but I do, you know, I'm sporadic with it. I review a cigar here and there. I'm mostly uh, into pipes, so, I mean, I do, but I do, you know, I do enjoy my cigars, so, so, there you have it. Um, Total Wine, great place to go if you're looking for a good cigar or a bottle of wine or anything, beer or something for a special occasion. And that is it. So I'm going to sit back and uh, just really enjoy this uh, beautiful cigar, Oliva. Yeah, I you know I see guys uh, on YouTube and they're smoking um, cigars that range anywhere from you know sixty, seventy, eighty dollars in the hundreds. I can't, I just can't afford that, but. This is as big as I can get, right? The most I've ever spent on a cigar is uh, $13, $14, $15. Uh, so, maybe one of these days that I get the, uh, the gumption and I have extra money to throw out that way, I'll try a cigar up in the... Above the twenty, above the fifteen dollar range, and up in the twenty and thirty dollar range, but that's something I have yet to do. Um, I just can't see if you can get a good cigar for fourteen, fifteen dollars. You can get a premium, beautiful cigar. You can get a good cigar for six, seven dollars. You don't have to spend that, but just said special occasions warrant that. So, and I took one of the bands off already. Isn't it beautiful? It actually has two bands on it. Grand Reserva Limitada. Okay, so that's it. That's my uh, cigar run for this month. I'll have some more stuff coming in because it is my birthday. So I'm going to have a few pipes I'm going to be getting uh, in the mail. And then I waited a long time for and i'll be coming up with those videos a little bit later on so uh i'm going to kick back and enjoy the cigar and i will catch you guys in the next video thanks for watching and keep looking up to the stars because remember i'm the spaceman and i might just land in your area next time around happy journeys Thank <laughs> you.